We know celebrities are getting cut fat vegan checks for being plant-based. It's pathetic how vegans ignore and deny what is clearly some type of agenda. But what about the celebs who couldn't follow the vegan diet despite being recruited into shoving soy slop down people's throats? In 2010, Angelina Jolie claimed she had been vegan for a long time, but said that the diet nearly ended her life because she wasn't getting enough nutrition. Afterwards, joking that her beauty secret was big juicy steaks. If women knew the truth about what actually made them beautiful, they would be choking down sticks of butter every single supermarket in the United States. It would be crazy. No exaggeration. It's just the modern media has women under the belief that eating meat is masculine, not conducive to beauty. Dax Shepard and Kristen Bell decided to go vegan in 2012 after watching Forks Over Knives. Both of them struggled with the switch, Dax continuing to eat chicken, and Kristen is now a vegetarian who enjoys the occasional dairy product. The couple still supports a plant-based lifestyle, and in 2019, launched their own vegan baby line at Walmart. Hello, Bello. This is nothing short of evil. They literally feel the starvation on the vegan diet and then make vegan baby food? Are these people demons disguised as humans? I don't think I have to ask that question. Jared Leto credits his youth to sleep and a mostly vegan diet, but also calls himself a Cheegan, a cheating vegan, then says, if I'm in Alaska and there's wild salmon out of the river, I'd probably eat it. You're not vegan if you eat animal products. This is so stupid. This glamorization of a vegan diet never ends. Vegans continuously lie about who is vegan despite being presented clear evidence the person is not vegan. Channing Tatum was vegan for all of six months, being convinced by his wife who had been vegan since she was 10. The diet didn't last long because Channing doesn't like vegetables. Man, have you guys ever seen a vegan female that muscular? All of these vegan girls starving themselves should give her a call. Meghan Markle was promoting a vegan diet in 2015, saying she ate vegan during the week, only eating meat on weekends, but then revealed that she ate more meat while she was pregnant. How can a vegan diet be glamorized so much? It's like you keep getting beat up and saying, Oh, I only try to get mugs during the week. Then on the weekends, I don't walk around the Bronx at 4 a.m. with a diamond necklace on. Like, celebrity personal trainer Bob Harper practiced a vegan lifestyle, but eventually switching to a higher protein diet, including egg whites, cheese, and fish. After having a massive heart attack in 2017, he said his vegan followers were chastising him for eating fish, saying it would give him another heart attack. Aren't vegans such lovely people? Keep scarfing down that omega-6 tofu that goes straight to your arteries, and in five years where you have a stroke due to the lack of methylation from a B vitamin deficiency, you can say, oh, at least I didn't have a heart attack. Steve-O was vegan for more than a decade, or so he claims, but started eating fish again in 2019. The vegans don't like this either. Steve-O himself saying that vegans can be annoying, and their militant views pit people who are on your team against you. But is anyone really vegan? I'm sure some of you guys remember that bug butter video I did where we discussed the amount of insect parts that occur in every single plant-based food. You know, if you're scarfing down 50 ants worth of vegetables every day, are you really vegan? Similar to Steve-O, Waka Flock of Flame expressed his frustration with vegans when he announced he had given up his plant-based lifestyle. In 2018, he dropped the vegan card, adding that other vegans were like the cops, also not liking how calling himself vegan made him sound like he felt superior to others. Beyonce and Jay-Z explored a vegan diet several years ago and in 2013 issued a 22-day vegan challenge to their fans also encouraging people to try their meal delivery service and to buy their cookbook, The Green Print. Yet, Beyonce and Jay-Z are not vegan. They still eat meat. Chris Hemsworth is another actor who wore the vegan title without actually being vegan. He was seen eating chicken and yogurt on a publicity tour in Korea in 2019. I feel like 
I could just be an actor and pretend to be vegan. And then when they see me eating a fat, juicy steak, you know, a year or two later, hey, oh well, I'm sorry guys, vegan diet is still great. Ellen DeGeneres was allegedly on a strict plant-based diet for eight years. Yeah, who believes that? Now she eats fish and eggs, but still promotes veganism as a healthy lifestyle choice for people and the planet. Jennifer Lopez turned to veganism after giving birth to her twins, saying that it helped her energy level soar, and after her 22-day vegan challenge, she reintroduced lean meats and fish. This is actually a practical application of what a vegan diet should be, a fast for your body. You know, if you don't want to necessarily water fast or just starve yourself, consuming vegetables and fruits is a way of starving yourself. Samuel L. Jackson went vegan for seven months following a health scare, however, lost so much weight, he nearly lost a film role, breaking up with veganism after going to a Shake Shack, not looking back since. Glee star Leia Michelle keeps a vegan home, saying that if you keep your home healthy, you're not reaching for bad things, so she stocks it up with fruits and vegetables. Leia explained that though she was vegan for a while, she has since incorporated meat and other animal products back into her life. The reason people reach for snacks and eat all day is because they are starving for micronutrient nutrition, predominantly due to a lack of highly bioavailable fat-soluble vitamins from animal foods in the diet. Professional dancer Derek Ho is another former vegan who actually listened to his body. He said he was only vegan for about six weeks before giving into his meat cravings. There's a huge variance in how long someone can tolerate a vegan diet for. Some people feel like they need to choke down some steak in two months. Some people last longer. Zoe Deschanel found that going vegan made getting enough calories difficult. She had sensitivities to both wheat and soy, which made eating on the go even harder. Zoe decided to incorporate lean meats like fish into her diet. Wasn't it just a few years ago where the conventional wisdom was that food sensitivities were a myth? That you can't have gluten intolerance or issues eating soy unless you're allergic to it? It happens with everything. The media molds the public's general opinion and it is believed until there is an overwhelming amount of contradictory evidence. Laverne Cox was vegan for four months, but discovered she had a soy sensitivity, saying it was hard to find healthy food to eat on the run. Isn't there something wrong with your diet when the only source of protein is soy, a plant food that has been made into laboratory experiments as a result of modern invention? Carrie Underwood switched from vegetarian to vegan in 2011, but explained in 2013 that she is more of a practical vegan. If she orders something on a menu and it has cheese on top, she won't send it back. Hmm, maybe if she orders a steak and a piece of beef comes on her plate, she wouldn't send it back either. Yeah, it's called not being a vegan. Anne Hathaway was vegan from 2012 to 2014 until she ate a piece of salmon at a restaurant saying her brain felt like a computer rebooting and has been incorporating fish into her diet since. British singer Fleur East was criticized after she was seen eating meat while competing on a reality series. This was because she publicly proclaimed her affinity for veganism years before her appearance on the show. All these celebrities telling you to go vegan, yet they eat caviar and foie gras for dinner once a week. Look at what a person is doing not what they are saying. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If above all, you guys could please share the video. If you enjoyed it, like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do, as well as hit the bell icon. If you'd like to support me further, you can check out Frankie's Free Range Meat, high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. Courtesy of Halloween, I think we have to do a sale on brains for all of you zombies out there. So definitely check that out, frankiesfreerangemeat.com. You can also go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. If you guys would like to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one health consultations, you can send me an email, frankatufano at gmail.com. Overwhelming amount of former vegans reaching out to me is actually uh, pretty unbelievable. Uh, so thanks again for joining me, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day.